Hey guys, today I will show you some coding on Audit and Make 2, like for example moving windows with remote key. First connect OBD2 scanner and open up VCDS. Also turn on ignition, go to options and test connection. Now when this is done click OK and save. Before we start with anything I want to explain this so no one gets disappointed. Cars hardware determines what can you change or not. Different cars have different modules depending on what was bought in the first place. If you do not have a module in your car, you can still see it software wise, but it won't do anything. If you have a certain module on your car, usually it comes with different settings. Manufacturer made those settings possible. Usually for the reason that they can adapt the car to different laws in different countries. So now you can go ahead and enable or disable or adapt settings on modules which you have. Select control module. Now we first want to activate moving windows with remote key. So we go to module 46 central convenience. Let's go to coding and long coding helper. Now here you have many options in byte 6. We want to turn on bit 2, which is comfort opening power windows via remote control. And then we also want to turn on bit 5, which is comfort closing power windows with remote control. Now what I also want to switch on is a beeping sound when you lock and unlock the car. So I will go to byte 8 and activate bit 3, which says unlocking confirmation with horn via remote control and then byte 9 bit 3 locking confirmation with horn uh, this is actually not horn this is alarm sound so if you have alarm installed this will work otherwise it won't in byte 11 you can also turn on mirror lowering down on reverse but this only works for memory seats so if you have memory seats this option will work so you can turn it on then the passenger mirror will dip down when you put your car in reverse. Now here are also some other alarm settings which you can adapt but we will leave this as is. Now we exit this and we can click do it to save the settings. Click OK and close controller. Next thing what I want to show you is in central electronics. This is module number 9. And here we go to coding and long coding helper. We have a couple of settings for lights. What I want is that daytime running lights will deactivate when blinker is active. So left blinker, left light will shut off. Here in byte 17 you also have some interesting stuff for brake light flashing and fog lights and so on. But I like my car as it is now so I will just change this. When we made the change, we can exit long coding helper and click do it to save changes. Click OK and that's it. Now we can exit 